Good day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I'm the one you'll speak with. Ranvi tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of the Thousand Eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the Master of the Thousand Eyes, the head of our guild. A legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus, you look upon Redda! He means you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid in opal. A striking color. Is it rare? Rarer than an honest man in England. You must keep your eyes open for this mirror. It has great value. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Nothing for now? No matter. My selection changes daily. You will soon find something you like. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, not the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates, clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. going here are you the man in charge it's my grandfather really but he says the best way to learn responsibility is by working besides between you and me I'm better at it more of a people person you know I do it's good to have you both of you you look well Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebridgeshire. A force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Be careful out there. Hail! What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. I have heard the name. 
You helped the sons of Ragnar overthrow the Mercian king. Well met. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grundbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Suma Ayalskuna. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. What about the city walls? And your guards? The walls were unbreached. The guards unaware. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Our Yalsko Masuma, she bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Longship, Dane markings. Remember the boars you felled our first day in England. All his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! 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 You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend, an ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Granbridge. Though it seems an Order of Lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients. Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grantbridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them, and we retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Who is this Wickmund? And what does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grant Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city, but this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grant Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back.
Bright wolf of the branch and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. Wolves, they've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Don't keep laughing behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. <laughs> Is there a group of Danes held captive? Saxons surrounding that old hut. There may be Danes trapped inside. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. That won't be on their minds. They'll be dreaming of all the ways they want to kill the Saxons who took their homes. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look well worn. 
Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits. And at the break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. Leaf, Soma says you're the man who built her longships. That's right. Each has a sharp keel, a stout mast, and a poem etched into the hull to sing the praises of the Dringer who commands her. A longship is heavy with fate. Just a few lengths of wood between you and a watery grave. What better place to put a line of poetry, hmm? Agreed. It's good to fight beside you, Leif. Likewise, Ava. Thanks again for plucking me and my warriors from the mire. The day is new, and the air is bracing. Are you ready for the fight ahead? Let's take your city back. That's what I like to hear. Meet me at the western gate of Grantbridge. We've assembled there. Have care you do not enjoy taking orders from anyone but your Jarl back home. I fight for Sigurd, none else. While you're on this ship, Dag, you fight for me. And for Soma's loyalty, we fight for her. In the early days of the feud between Kiotve the... We can continue later. Each side of the door. Move when you get a signal and not a. Wigmund! Honor thief! I know you're up there. Return Grandbridge to me, Wigmund. No more of our people need die. We may talk this out, lord to lord. Ha <laughs> ha! What are we to talk about? You have nothing I need. Worth by birth, even. I was born a noble. You were plucked from a giant's armpit. I built this town. From a mud hut to a thriving port. And we both know you'll bleed those ridges dry without my guiding hand. Leave! Go die in the muck where you belong, heathens! Wigmund, Wigmund, let's try one final time. Quit Grantbridge. And when she is mine once more, I may spare your life. Ha! I command Grantbridge. I am master here. And I will scour you rats from this land like rot from a festering wound. Let me give you some advice, old bear. The surest way to stop a wound from festering isn't with a blade. It's with fire. <laughs> now, Danes of Grandbridgeshire, retake what's yours. Look at Grandbridge. What has Wigman done to her? No time for that. We must free her first.
Find him there. Death for any Saxon breathing. There! Get the heathen dog! No prisoners. No mercy. Prisoners, no mercy. Forever. Come face your death! Heathen eels! Wigmund is gone! He's gone! <laughs> 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 Sign of Wickman here. He may be hiding within the city walls. Shall we search? No. He'll be gone. Count on it. Arger coward. But we've struck a bold claim today. Walk with me. I want you to sound our battle horn to announce our victory. Let all the Shire know that Grandbridge is retaken. The sound of the horn means prosperity, long life, bounty. Why me? Why not? You were the keystone to this attack. You turned the tide. Let the wind from your lungs breathe life back into my city.
Yeah. My clan throws the best feasts, I think you'll find. You enjoy yourself? I did. But were you celebrating or mourning? You looked unsure. The night of the attack, I heard sounds of bloodshed coming from the Longhouse. In moments, the city was overrun with Saxons, so I called a retreat. We all have our one day, but not like that. Not that day. I have heard this before, that the Saxons appeared as if from the shadows. In all my time in Grantbridge, this tunnel was my most careful project. The best kept secret in the city. Now a hundred or more Saxons know the smell of it. The only people who knew about this tunnel were me, and the three in my inner circle. Wickman could have escaped in the chaos of the fight. The city was teeming with my men, posted at all gates. Wigman was shown this tunnel and used it both to enter and escape. By whom? That is where I hesitate. Between Leif, Galen and Birna, I cannot say. But they are the three who helped me dig this in secret. I hoped you might lend me your wits. You are a fresh ally. I could use your eyes and ears. I promised you I'd help secure your city. That task isn't yet done, it seems. Good. I sent Galen, Leif, and Birna to destroy what remains of Wigman's power throughout the Shire. Meet with them. Raid with them. Get to know them as best as you can. Find out which of them betrayed me. You could plan your attack and see if it flushes out the traitor. Too great a risk. This snake could compromise us at any time. I need clear, sound judgment. I need you, Eivor. You have me. Thank you. Feel free to take a look around as you wish. Search the city, the tunnel. And here, a gift. For retaking Grandbridge with us. One of the few things I have left from my blood family. Is just cursed with bad luck. Soma has only ever pleased the gods. Asserting her now, breaking your oath, that is what. Eivor, I am honored you have joined us. What's your plan here? All the Shire support Soma's ruling the city. These hamlets do not. They're feeding and outfitting Wickman's army. So we will burn their homes, quick and devastating, like the thunderclaps of Thor. How did you come to be in Soma's clan? A vision from Evolva set me on this path. It pricked my mind like a splinter, then faded. But I wanted more. For months, years, I ate only henbane, mushrooms, sacred plants, hoping to see something new. But my body dwindled. I lived addled, maddened, a wanderer, taken in by Saxons and spat out again and again until Soma found me. Naked and alone in the fence. She clothed and cared for me. Humbled as I was, I owe her my life. Visions can be strange and powerful. What did you see? I was climbing a mountain. A lion and a snake upon my back, weighing me down. I struggled. And Soma appeared, and she eased my burden. When we reached the peak, there was hardly enough room to stand. On a point like the tip of a blade, we teetered there, gripping one another, tightly. I know I can seem distant, obsessed, but the gods are with us always. I see it as my duty to shelter Soma from their ire. What do you think of the others, Leif and Birna? Birna thinks of life as a grand joke. She was a smuggler when Soma pulled her from the muck, making a living on lies. 
Birna is part of my clan, and I will fight beside her, irreverent as she is. But she has no care for her destiny. I am eager to start throwing torches. Now let's rid these hamlets of Wickman's rats. Light your torches and set your arrow tips ablaze, Edward. The red enemy of the branch will make quick work of this place. unburned for licking Eldam and Wickman's boots It's about us. Smell of burning roof thatch and heady turf fire. Don't stop me! Point of light! 
That was something. Wakeman is sure to take notice. You stamped and roared like a fiery Sutur himself, marching through the flames of Muspelheim. I'll see you back home, Drenga. Hair gets longer, the nails grow, even when the corpse is cold. I've seen it myself. That's not true. You think what? There's a bit of life? Eivor, my muscle banded friend! There's a nest of Wigman's men just here. We're going to pick it clean. Every last one. The fewer lies in the bush, the less itchy the pussycat. That's how I see it. How did you come to join Soma's army? I'd been in England for ages before Guthrum, Ivar, Uppa. Smuggling under the eyes of Saxons and Danes alike. I lied, stole, had my nose broken. Life wasn't easy, but it taught me how to bear the pain. I just laughed it away. When Soma took me in, she saw more than a smuggler in me. I was useful to something greater than myself. Useful to her vision. In a world where few saw you as worthy of trust, she's one who did. Right. And I love that about her. I love... everything about her. You seem to bring life and spirit to this clan. Does Soma feel the same? If I knew what was going on in another person's head, I'd find life dreadful and dull. But Soma seems to enjoy my company. In what way? Her own way. Just not in the way I'd like. Painful truths are easy to bear when you can laugh, you see. Delight in the face of suffering is an act of rebellion. What do you think of Soma's other warriors? Galen and Leif? Oh, Leaf's got that raw animal pull. Every time I see him, I want him to climb me like a tree and nest in my armpits. He brays about being honorable, but I've never met a man of honor who starts a fire just to be praised for putting it out. And Galen, he broods like it's an art form. He's got this self-importance that is just so charming. We could talk all day, but these Saxons may fly from their nest. You and I should take a closer look. My men will hang back and come running if things go sideways. <clears throat> Fighting beside you should bring a thrill. Happy I can see it up close. Don't get too close. I might like your eye or bruise your head. <laughs> You'd lose your elbow before the bruises show. <laughs> Than Ragnarok. These sucks still don't. Not everyone is so. Ha! <laughs> 
heavy blade hand, but a footfall is soft as lamb's wool. My blade hand is not heavy, it's precise. So is lightning, but that doesn't make it subtle. That's all of them. Ah, the solitude of after slaughter. Shame about the smell, though. Men shitting themselves. You fought very well, Birna. Is that how you flirt, Eivor? Is that how I what? Easy now, Drengir. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. as much air as a hailstorm. You cannot be allowed to keep spewing. Did you sail through a storm? You never met. Eivor! A fine day for being out, no? Soma said I would find you here, Leif. What's your plan? We're ridding the world of a priest who spouts praise for the Elderman and funnels tithes into Wickman's coffers. So the plan is this. We sneak in, gut the priest, and return to Soma. That will get Wickman steaming. How did you come to join Soma's army? We came to England together, sailing under Guthrum, the great summer army the Saxons called us. When Guthrum left for Wessex, Soma stepped forward to lead, something I would have liked to do myself. What would you do if you were the Jarl of Grandbridge? I would run the city in my own way. I would not give Birna and Galen's opinions equal weight. Do you not trust them? I wouldn't say that. It's more. Birna's boots are stuck in the mud, and Galen's are in the sky. If death were bearing down upon us, I worry neither would have what it takes to carry us through. You were there when Guthrun made Soma the steward of Grandbridge. How did that feel? Good fortune for her. When Soma took hold, the silver started flowing and the people started dancing. She knows trade. I do wish I'd been bold enough to put myself forward, to take on the burden and honor of running a city. But that's beside the point. Soma is my Jarl's corner, and I'm her sworn man. No act of any god will change that. As a master shipbuilder, what does your work require? Patience and love. I know each of our vessels as a parent knows their child. But building ships needs silver too. The hard wood, the tough fabrics, the expensive paints, the yellow I use, for instance, that must be imported. A high price for a happy color, I'm certain that's why someone stole my paint some weeks ago. Blasted thief. Good conversation, Leif. Now let's take down Wickman's men. Too right, too right. Wickman's whelp awaits his reward. My warriors will distract the Saxon forces at the gate. You and I will find the priest. priest is in the church.
Wigman should have killed you all off the first time. Well struck. We made short work of Wickman's man. That we did. You've proven yourself an asset to us. I'll see you back in Grand Bridge. You'll get nothing out of me. Nothing! <clears throat> Eivor, the plan worked. One of Wigman's captains caught him sniffing around your Oli Ponte. Remember, you don't need to kill him. Have fun. I'll be planning our next move in the Longhouse. Little boy, little boy, where is your daddy hiding? Godless heathens. Grand Bridge is the province of Lord Wigman of Walden. The city is rightfully his. Poor soldier. Doesn't know what heathens do to men of God like him. Hasn't heard the stories, it seems. We can educate him. Look at those ham hands. Could make a nice pair of gloves. And his heart. A heart that beats in a lad like this? Feed a family of six for a week. Let's cut his throat now and water the orchards with his blood. Oh, sweet lord, no! No, no! He's on the Isle of Ely, Elderman Wigmund, in the monastery, I swear. Hmm. Thought that would take till the next morn. Let's tie him up and let him rot away. Oh, fucking Dane Hapwitz! The Lord will smite you from this land, all of you! May God have mercy on- <laughs> ah! <clears throat> That home-thieving snake might have cast a curse on us. I couldn't risk it. Christians don't curse. Wickman's on the Isle of Ely. I'll tell Soma what we've learned. Huh. Eivor, what did Wigman's little man have to tell us? Wigman is at the monastery on the Isle of Ely. Hiding among the church mice. I'll need to plan our attack. But I won't face him while the traitor he commands is still under my roof. So what have you learned?
Gallon told me he was near death when you found him, and saved his life. Yes. People thought him cursed. He was adrift in deep water. But don't we all deserve a guide back to the shallows? Gallon puts his visions above everything, to the point of fanaticism. Visions are like clouds. Each person sees a different meaning in the shape. And Galen sees an important meaning. That's all the evidence I think we need. You've been thorough. Who is the traitor? Galen betrayed you. Are you certain? This will be the hardest thing I have ever done. Stay close by me, Eivor. I will need you. How do you plan to deal with this? As a leader must. My family, my inner circle. Today we make sure what has happened to us will never happen again. We end Wigman's life. But not all together, for you cannot survive the winter with a rat in your larder. Galen. You have betrayed me, Galen. I haven't! Soma, you're the key to my life. You must lead me to my destiny, carry me to the summit of victory! Do not warp what is real with the stories you tell yourself. I have seen no signs of your destiny. What I have seen is my people <sighs> slaughtered, my city befouled, and your delusions fueling the destruction. How dare you think your destiny, your greatness, outweighed all of ours! <gasps> He believed too much in fate, and not enough in us. Take him away. I feel as if I have torn off my own arm. Wickman deserves death. But killing him won't make your family whole again. You think I don't know? This is for those who follow. To join me is to take an oath. To break it is to suffer. We make camp on the outskirts of the Isle of Ely. Join us there. She carries the weight of leadership on one shoulder and the bonds of her people on the other. Now that she's lost one, she walks lopsided. It will take years of toil to rebuild those bonds with her people. Yet she is unburdened now. Lighter. She is a leader, not a friend, Eivor. Her mistake was thinking she could be both. Come on, I need a challenger! is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma, Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. He's hiding. At the summit of the hill, I can smell him. I hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. If they see me, this will get messy. My palms itch. Where is that rat? I take. 
pays the wigman's fear on the air. My lots of booty here. <laughs> Wigman's fear on the air. My fingers itch for his life, Eivor. Patience. We'll attack when it's time. Probably cowering within the monastery. from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it.
Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you get to see it. Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah. While I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. So my Jalskona, my deepest thanks. And there's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Eivor! Birna! You struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all fought hard, and now Grandbridge is yours. You have your home once again. Bah! Soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Dringer. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. me back to Randy. Best tell her the good news. Good day, Eivor. We are allied with the Danes of Grandabridgeshire. Their Jalskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will, in more than one way. One of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work.
At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Jailbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The Honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. And to the south, Soma Yalskona and the Danes of Grandebridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of- You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? I do not claim to be Sigurd's equal. But I will not shy from the triumphs I have fairly won, Dag. Let glory seek and find those who have earned it. If that means me, so be it. If that means you, any one of you, all the better. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd. May he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There is enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're- Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curs! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others, stay here. With me!
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Geatland. But with none left alive to spill their secrets, we may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go. And do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits, should any return. Oh. What tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Generous guests, Ravensthorpe, an island of calm in this turbulent land. But my vision of fire still troubles me. It would be good to rest beneath my dear old tree. I've always found peace there in the past. 